right, everybody. We're out here at the golf course. It's that time again. Fall season is underway. Chad has his first match tonight. It was supposed to be Saturday, but unfortunately the weather had it called off. At the very last minute, he was very disappointed, but he's looking forward to it. Um, because of the way that tonight works out, it is a school night for them. So they're only playing for two hours, which is an hour shorter than they normally play. So as a result, uh, all of the kids will be playing all of the holes so that they can all get as much in as possible. They will still just play the best ball out of the three. Um, so we'll see what kind of shots Chad can come up with or putts, and we'll see how his game looks because it's been a while since he's been out here getting all warmed up he never likes to uh, go to the chipping green or the driving range to warm up he just wants to focus on his putting because his pitch game is pretty much a strong suit he's really good from about 150 yards and in it's just getting the putts in and getting a little more strength in his drive. As you can see, his team is wearing their orange tonight, which makes him very, very happy. You can see his orange ball as well. Makes it easier to track when we're out on the course. All right, I missed Chad's drive. He had a good one, but his usual partner, McKenna, had a longer one. So they went with her, so we'll see how his approach shot is here. Keep your helmet low. Yeah. That was with his pitching wedge. Yeah. Might have wanted to use his hybrid there. Well, he tucked it. All right. My apologies for the sun, everybody, but their other partner had the best shot. They're right up by the green. And there's Chad. Whoa. And he got him on the okay. green. He's on him. Yep, he's the only one of the three that got him on, so they'll probably use his ball. I would hope so. That was so. a good approach. It's still a long putt for par. Put a little too much on that one. We'll see how McKenna does. Not quite enough, so we'll see whose ball they go with. That was their par shot. So they still have two that they can work with. His putt is for bogey. Oh, not enough on it. Good up, Chad. All right, not gonna miss his tee shot here. This is a very short par three. There we go, Chad. Good job. Good shot. All right, Chad. This is their second shot teammate was able to get his tee shot up on the green so this is a birdie putt oh good approach good approach okay this putt's for par and to win the hole Yeah, good shot. Okay, this is a rough par four. It's got like a little creek running through that you can't see yet. Curve, curve, curve. Oh, stayed rough. But hey, we sank that par three putt to take the hole. Save par. So we're going to live off that high for a minute.
Oh, see the splash. Oh, so close to being on the green. All right, they lost that last hole because one of the other teams had uh, an incredible approach shot and then nailed a great putt for par. But they still won the first flag, two holes to one. So this is their fourth hole. It's a good par four. Good shot, Chad. Good shot. There you go. It stayed on the green. Good shot. Good shot, Chad. Just a little short of the green. Bogey. Oh, a little too far and a little too hard. Nope. All right. Last putt, or they have to pick up and take a triple bogey on this one. Oh, alrighty, they ended up splitting that last hole. Nobody could get it before a triple bogey. Now they've got this short par three. Not bad, Chad, but right in the rough. Need to get some lift in it. Hey everyone, future Zach here, uh, back to close out this video. Um, I honestly don't remember the last thing that I showed you guys on here, but uh, Chad had to sit out the last couple holes last night, um, so that's why the filming just kind of abruptly ended. His energy was gone. Um, he felt like he couldn't walk anymore. Uh, he felt like if he did anything else, he was going to be sick, and of course he didn't want to do that um, out there in front of his peers. Uh, and so he just had to cheer him on. Um, and I just want to take a minute to say that, you know, this is how much I hate his mitochondrial disorder and how much it really just sucks for him. Um, because he was playing great, uh, as hopefully a lot of y'all saw the majority of his shots that he didn't top, he was hitting straight. His putting was fantastic. It was probably the best um, overall putting performance he's had, knocking down a couple clutch putts. Uh, and what really stunk about it was, um, you know, especially on the last hole of the night, his teammates were practically begging him to come back onto the course and, you know, give them extra shots and stuff like that because of how good his performance had been. And I know he was just crushed because he knew he just didn't have it in him to do it. Um, so I, it tears me up. Um, so very, very glad that we've made these plans, uh, that he'll be going out of town with Jess uh, within the next week to finally see a specialist, a uh, few specialists uh, out of state um, that deal with his type of disorder so that hopefully we can finally get some answers and start getting this poor child some more energy so that this kind of stuff doesn't happen. But thank you for coming along with us. He did have a fantastic time um, and was very proud of how he played. Uh, and we had a good time out there. Uh, and that's, of course, just the first of many. It'll be a few more weeks. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Before he has another competition, though, uh, due to his schedule, our schedule, and what we've got coming up. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like down below as it goes a long way to help our channel. It helps get us more exposure through the wonderful, crazy YouTube algorithm. 
If you have any questions or comments that you'd like to drop in about uh, where he plays, how he plays, things like that, again, we love interacting with y'all, so please feel free to leave those on the channel. And if you're not subscribed, please think about clicking that subscribe button. As we always say, there's something here for everybody on Coker Culture and help us reach our goal of 500 subscribers by the end of 2023. Okay, until next time, guys, what's your why?